and welcome to another Contents tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to restore your original icons back to um, back from if after you've installed a Brico pack and um, the, all, not all the icons have gone back. Okay, so the first thing you want is you'll want a original shell32.dll file. Now, when you install Brico packs, um, they will include a modified version of this um, file and it replaces all the icons. If you download the trial version of a piece of software called MicroAngelo and open up the librarian and drag it in, you can see all the icons that are included in this file. Now you can see some of them are blank and this is what you get if you go and um, try it, you go for the hiding the icon so yeah if you go to icon change the icon these are all from the shell 32 file all these icons that you'll see here now when you've got a Brico pack they have a modified version which brings up all these different icons and um, yeah, to restore it back to the original, you want to go into my computer and you want to find the one that's um, been put in there that's the modified version. So you go into win um, your hard drive and go into the Wind folder, go into System32 and scroll down so you find shell32.dll. Now, um, to restore this to the original, you can't just delete it off here and then put another one in. What you have to do is you have to download a piece of kit called Replacer. And what this does is it, when you choose to replace a file, it patches all the stuff so it's, um, it's not just in one place that you're placing it and it ends up fucking everything else up it's just the one bit it's just it helps you do everything properly so you, all you do is you just drag the file in that you want to replace hit enter you find the replacement that you want so here drag that in hit enter again press Y and it'll patch. I'm not going to do it because I've already replaced it and it's the original one. Um, yeah and that's um, that'll replace it. Now sometimes um, like what I found is it doesn't replace all the icons back to the original. Um, what you'll need is you'll need an icon changing program. I use icon packager but there are some free ones out there. Um, now, if you go into, um, if you're using Icon Package, you go to the Icons and Cursors, and see here it says it's onto the Shell 32 DLL and then the icon number. Like, see Internet Explorer, that's not the original one. That's from the program files. If you want it back to the default one that in, uh, Windows has, you have to click on Change Icon and go into the shell 32, you might have to browse for it but click on the my shell, th uh, shell 32 file and you go across and find the internet explorer one it fits there here, and you can replace it like that um, so yeah, if you've got any left over, you're going to have to go through all these and replace them all like that and use the shell 32 DLL file to replace them. Because some of them didn't replace, like um, my computer wouldn't replace them, my documents on mine when I had this problem. And um, yeah, it just makes, it's um, just to get everything back to XP because I needed the performance and the Mac icons didn't look good on Windows XP. Or oh, Windows Classic, should I say? Um, so yeah, and um, say you want, 
say you've already got these and you want a new icon set what you can do is you can either go to wincustomize.com and download an icon packager set if you use icon packager um, another thing that you can do is if you go to deviantart.com and search shell32 dll mods you can get all these different ones like um, you got the vista ones mac and all they do is they'll generally include a copy of the dll file they'll include a replacer file so um, it includes replacer in there and some of them have more than one because they mod more than one um, bit to get it um, to get everything right it's like for them um, so here you can see if you went to download on this one it will come up with a raw file and um, generally that will have more than one in unless it is just a specific shell 32 DLL mod but most of them on DeviantArt anyway have lots of other ones in um, but it will come with a readme file and show you um, tell you how to do it and it will come with the correct um, replacer so you can um, you know which items to replace and stuff um, so yeah um, um, the reason I'm doing a tutorial on this is because um, this happened to me um, and it's just really annoying but um, I would actually probably prefer the icons that do the mod on this shell DLL file shell32 DLL because um, they generally turn out better and it um, doesn't take up as much memory as these the maximum memory that it will take up is what you what your original shell32 DLL file will have um, as you can see I'm not using the Mac theme anymore um, I'll still bring you that tutorial on it but um, I needed my performance and it wasn't working out with that Mac theme so I've gone to Windows Classic just to get it up. Um, I'll host this shell32 DLL file for you so you don't have to go around looking for it um, all the time. Um, I'll also provide all the links. Um, I'll provide a link for this software here. It will only be a trial unless you can be bothered buying it. Um, there's also a site. This is the site that I... No. This one. This tells you how to... This told me how to change the system icon. Um, but um, it's not uh, what I was it's not what I was doing totally but it's just um, a different way of doing it I just interpret it in my own way that's how to just change them it's not how to get it back to how it was normally and how to replace your shell 32 DLL file um, another good website that I'll be posting is um, this one it's great for all your Windows XP tips on the first page alone it has 299 different tips and tweaks for Windows XP and there are three pages of it so how many I'll just see how many there are in total yeah there are 437 different tips for Windows XP um, it's a really useful website um, some of them are pointless um, that you probably won't use some of them are really useful um, 
yeah, so that's it for today. I'll see you next time.